All right, after uh, watching Rimstar Org's latest video on his um, electrostatic motor, his Corona motor, I thought a lot about what he was showing and how it was important for these kitchen table projects to be something that almost anybody could find the parts to and build. So I took a step backwards uh, in his direction. And I also like uh, Thomas Kim's uh, work. And so I was decided to do some more work with Thomas Kim's um, ideas. And uh, this right here is a manual voltage multiplier. It's a series of high voltage capacitors with just aluminum tape. And then uh, Thomas has shown that you can take one of these electric fly swatters and run it back and forth across those tabs and build up a voltage. It's like a charge pump or a voltage multiplier. And uh, initially he showed these with diodes or later on with diodes. And uh, I wanted to try it without the diodes. And it, it works with no diodes. And uh, this little motor I built here, uh, basic, basic, like what um, Rimstar showed, um, barely runs with this, but it runs really, really good with the up to voltage. And I, like I say, went backwards in my design and, and, and wanted to look at something that almost anybody could build. These are three water bottles, regular found around the world water bottles. Two of them have water in them. This one is empty. It has two pieces of tin foil taped under the side, aluminum foil that you'd find anywhere in the world with just scotch tape. There's a magnet on the lid with a push pin stuck to the top of that coat hanger. The coat hanger is splayed out and taped to that board. And you could use it on your kitchen countertop or wherever you wanted to build this. It's about a 20-30 minute build. It's very, very quick. You just take one of these coat hangers take the middle part out, open it up some, and there's your structure for your motor. The brush system is strictly two pieces of tin foil taped to the side of the water bottle. This is the hard part right here. You would have to have these high voltage capacitors or one of these fly swatters or some way to make thousands of volts with low amperage or this really won't run very well. It'll sort of run with electrostatic uh, PVC pipe type of thing, but not very well. You need something like this. Let me show you how this works. There's a couple of wires just taped onto the screen there. They basically charge up these capacitors in a sequence and build the voltage up. I have a spark gap right here. You can see the spark jump when I get this going. But let me show you the motor running too as I do this. And there goes the motor. You might be able to see the spark gap going off. It depends on the frame rate of this camera. Move this a little closer together so you can see it easier. And there's the motor going. And like I say, I, I was inspired by Rimstar Org's work in that uh, he doesn't have to do it the way he's doing it. But I think that's really, really good for the people that work out of their house. They don't work out of a garage. They work in the kitchen or here I'm in my living room here. And uh, bare minimum parts. Uh, there's one gentleman that uh, I like his work. He says he uses a pair of pliers and nail clippers to build things with. So these projects can be done with very, very little uh, expenditure and very, very simplistic tools. Thanks for watching.